I saw a video in which police officers were beating up a vendor in an open truck in Harare. And the truck was not running very fast because there was traffic jam. And all the Zimbabweans, I think it started around at, at Copacabana there and the truck was going somewhere. I was not very much able to tell which street it started from. But the police officers, about five of them, some were stamping on him, some were beating him with baton sticks, and, and, and everybody was watching. Now, somebody is going to tell me that our people are now in a fearful mode. Yes. They are terrified, they are always in fear. But I don't think it's a fear. We can attribute this indifference and this apathy and this docility, this subservience, only to fear. I don't think it is right for us to do so. I think it is either God has got something that he is doing to our people for this situation to continue like this. And, and this is what the Lord said to me. The Lord said to me, do you know why our country has been spared from the uh, ravaging effects of the COVID-19 uh, epidemic. The, the, the other nations have lost hundreds of thousands of, of citizens, yes. tens of thousands. Yes. Our country has not been affected that much. And we should thank God for that. Yes. But the Lord was saying to me, do you know why I have allowed that to happen? And I said, I don't know. And he said, Zimbabwe has lost more people to political, politically based brutality than COVID-19. Yes. The people that have died to police intelligence and military brutality in Zimbabwe ever since ZANPF took office are more than the total number of people that have died to the COVID-19 in the whole world. The figures of how many people we lost in 2008 are not known. The total, the true figure of how many people were lost, how many lives were lost in the Gukura Hundi massacre, the total figure is not known. Yes. The total figure of people who have been abducted and disappeared and liquidated and dissolved in acid, the, the Patrick Kompais, the Rashue Gujazi, the, 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 and other people who died because they, they did the system. That number is not known. Yes. And people do not know that there are also people who were murdered during the liberation war by our own comrades. And, and I know that. Pairu wa ondi erusunu nguko, tishidakuru wisa mabunu. Isupache jedu, mazanda ni mazipura forces. Pane makaura ya nafuti pagati, baba. Which, if we are going to have a leader who wants to bring peace in this country, there must be also an investigation into those disappearances of certain zebra forces and zebra soldiers and zebra commanders. Who were made that? When I said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Ian Smith. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Kutikana honda ya pera trige kuwa na opposition ya kanyanya from the Zipra side. And if you ask the people who know this information, they know the truth. That's why I said that other day. Some of the people who are celebrating today as war veterans. If things are investigated properly, they are going to become known as what they truly are. Yes. They are political mercenaries. Some of them are murderers. There are people right now who are flaunting themselves as war veterans in whose hands there is blood of their fellow comrades. Yes. And there are people who made that women whom they impregnated during the war. Yes. Some of their names, we know them as well. Some of them are not going to be to be able to do it. Every day because we are preachers of the gospel. What I'm trying to say, I want you to see something. 
Yes, the state is brutal. But have you also considered the recklessness and the foolishness of the Zimbabwean citizen? When one person is being brutalized, some of the comments that are put there by another Zimbabwean, they are a serious cause for concern. No Zimbabwean should be vandalized, brutalized, and assaulted while another Zimbabwean is watching. Yes. It is high time Zimbabweans should stand up and say, let's die together. If I see you abusing my brother, I'm going to join in. Let's die together. There's no reason for us to live after all. And the people of Zimbabwe do not know that the population, the ordinary Zimbabwean population, is more than the police, the army, and those who work for the intelligence combined. Yes. There is no amount of gunpowder that can silence the voice of all the Zimbabweans. And this is because of the divide and rule tactic that the politicians have been using for all these years. Yes. Our people are not united. But I'm not talking about unity, I'm talking about the common humanity in an ordinary person. We no longer have humans in Zimbabwe. Most of our people have turned into animals. They've turned into zombies. They've turned into uh, 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 insane human beings. How do you justify the abuse of those MDC activists simply because they participated in a demonstration which was illegal? So does two wrong make a right? No. Two wrong don't make a right. Two wrongs do not make a right. Uka wono ji send a message ya gadaro kuti java wana vano nyanya kuziku tava no zinyanya vanga vaji chake vana vadik vana vadik kudi kovan wakenda kundo vene 16 years. Day na we zere ishanda day tiri mi independence. All these guys were kuwa a chambera wakenda kunda wakenda kundo vana 15 years 16 years. They were active in politics. There is no age that says you should participate in politics when you are 45 years of age. This is just a propaganda that is being peddled by the oppressor and the dictator. And, and, and who is going to talk about it if we don't talk about it? Isusu tine mutsukika tinoko na wako very times like we don't fear to die. Atucha chika kufa is takafa kudara. Hey. I, I, I've survived more than seven assassination attempts, so do you think at this point I'm too afraid to die? I'm no longer afraid to die. I can die anytime. It's not an issue. 